Right then, back to business. First things first, let's... Uh, mm -hmm, ah, hmm. So, let's uh, dezone that one and this one, like so, and then we'll go to... This, this may or may not work, but I'm going to try doing... No, no, wait, no, you're not. I'm going to try doing that. No, that, you, you're on the zone removal tool there. Uh, anyway, right, general surgery. Uh, where are we? Reception. Oh, we've got a reception area up here as well. Okay, get rid of that. No, we, except we weren't. We were after a waiting room, not a reception area. Never mind. No, 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 it's all fine. The uh, tipper waiting room. Thank you. Uh, and then all of this will turn into waiting room. And then we'll flick over to emergency and we'll turn this into the emergency waiting room. Like that. I think that will work. Don't question me. I think it will. Uh, right. Brooke is assigned to there, but she's also assigned on days. Sorry, Brooke. Uh, I, I didn't mean to call you in unnecessarily. You were already uh, you were already set up. Um, now, ah, okay, interesting. So we could have we could assign another technician to the stat lab overnight, which might not be the worst idea. Tallulah, uh, given that we've got a day shift, Tallulah already, you can uh, you can work nights. Um, whether you like that arrangement or not is. I don't care, largely. Uh, right, now then, we need to tweak this to be a white chair. White chair, chair, white. No, pick up chair, turn it white, place chair. Chair, white. Done. Uh, we can also get rid of this now. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it somewhere, I'll put it somewhere properly in a moment. Uh, put that in there. Stick. No, hold on. We'll use the uh, the special magic waiting chair for that. There we go. Someone could just sit on that one instead. It's it's horrible. I know, um, but the fact that this is all assigned to be one bit should work. The question is uh, whether it's going to break the corridor. Maybe it does. Um, but uh but you know that's a that's a risk we're just going to have to take now then the tennis elbow warning poster can live in the hallway you can live here uh, that can go live above it and then we need to turn all of these red and then uh, and then we've got an operational waiting facility for the uh, for the regular proles and hopefully i've got enough of it now sorry i, I did the emergency patients not the regular pro the people who've stood on a, a, a garden rake uh, and, and got a jolly good smack in the nose. Um, right, okay, that should work slightly better uh, than it was doing previously, I hope. Um, okay, now then, what else can we do that will make any kind of a... Where's all the money gone? What did I just spend money on? I didn't think I'd spent any money, and why are you flashing? What's your problem? Uh, okay, you don't have a waiting room anymore. Oh, well, there's a there's a solution here. I don't like the solution, um, but uh, yeah, but it's got to be done. So these these chaps here need some kind of waiting facility. Now the obvious solution would be to stick in another waiting room. Well, that's genius. That's an inspired commentary that you have come to expect uh, from this channel, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, all right. Um, no, uh, what we're thinking, what, what I'm thinking, is uh, that uh, I move this uh, stat lab over by a couple and we set up a weight area in, uh, in row three here. That's what's going to look best. It's needless expense, and I should have thought of it beforehand, but... Uh, Needless expense, and I should have thought of it beforehand, is is one of the several ways I describe the channel. Um, all right, let's do it. Uh, if we're going to get something wrong, let's get it wrong spectacularly. Uh, now then, you come here, stat lab, stat lab. There you go. No, hold on, D zone, like that. Yeah, all right. Yes, yes. Uh, and then rezone it. Uh, yeah, 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 stat lab. Uh, we need to leave two, so that's one, that's two, then this one. 
all right seven by nine feels a bit big six by nine would probably be sufficient yeah you sure we don't want to do this again i'm committing to it uh okay right and then let's uh let's bulldoze this wall here and then we're just going to shuffle everything hold on no it, it needs the uh it needs the technical tiling wait gently and technical tiling there we go uh and then we need to uh we need to shuffle everything around a bit oh no here we go right we're gonna play uh gradually moving everything around all right that's got a computer on it at the moment I know, such insight. Uh, right, you know, move the chair, move the chair, move the chair, move the chair, move the, find the chair and then move it. Two, what, move the table. Uh, right, you sit like so. Still can't get at the chair, eh? Okay, well, we'll, we'll just move some of this other equipment. Um, and uh, they'll turn up for work in the morning and they'll go, where do I, where am I supposed to be sitting now? Everything's moved again for the second time in two days. Why does it feel like we're further away from the uh, from the front, uh, the front core? This is making no sense to me at all. I'm very confused. Um, to which I say, well, say la vie, friend. Uh, right, let's bang that around there. Have I got another spare? I have, good. Right, move the, it's because Tallulah sat on it. That's why, okay, fine. Well, she's gonna go like, Where's my computer gone? I was using that. Uh, and I'll say, well, you know, say la vie, isn't it? Again. Uh, oh, I, I got an achievement for that, apparently. I don't really want to know what the achievement was. Uh, probably, what are you doing? Uh, would be the, the name of the achievement I would have given that. Uh, right, okay, cool. Now, move the other wall. I think that's working now, unless I've missed anything. It says it's missing something. Uh, I'm going to guess that it's missing a wall. Uh, yeah, that, that'll make it happier. Right, slap that in there. There you go. Get rid of this door. Uh, door, remove. Yeah, get rid of this bit of wall. Yeah, you see, none of this is costing very much. So obviously, when I said I was going to burn through some cash at the end of the day, I wasn't wrong. Uh, right, stick that here, stick this under, no, wait, one more down, that's it, like that, and then move you back here, then get rid of the wall, actually moving that chair was, was largely unnecessary, um, because I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to rethink this whole, uh, this whole layout, uh, right, okay, now then, uh, zoning, dezone this, again, uh, go back to flooring. Yeah, get the flooring right. Can't uh, you, we can't get a, get away with uh, uh, the poor flooring? Not uh, not in my hospital. Right, do that. Do this. Yeah, and then uh, do this central section. Beautiful. Right, good. Now then, we split. We'll split this into two parts. So you need a waiting room. I'm wondering what the best split's going to be. I'll tell you what, let's move the furniture around first uh, because we need two auto sign-in uh, appointment gizmos. I wonder if I can have, can you have that sat over a chair? It isn't complaining, so, uh, so I'm gonna guess that you can. If it uh, if it does start complaining, then I'm going to uh, I'm going to take a second guess. Uh, right. Okay. Now we don't we won't need as many uh, as many waiting facilities for people who are waiting for a scan. So I'm going to stick them down the bottom, which means that this first three is going to be my uh, my scanning situation, uh, waiting department area, scanning department waiting. Okay. Uh, which means that everything other than one, two, three, so from here onwards, is going to be the uh, the main weight area. All right, and then we'll do radiology department. You have a weight area there. Okay, good. That could work. Um, I mean, obviously it could work. I, it's, it's just as likely not to, though. Uh, right, you need a queuing machine. 
And we'll stick the info telly on the wall here. What do you mean? Sure it will. There you go. Uh, and then here, we'll just pack this out with as many chairs as humanly possible. Uh, you will stick there for the moment. Um, yeah, we'll make it so that the sick people have to face each other, because that always makes them more comfortable. Yeah, and uh, keep it coming. Keep them red. Oh, this is... Yeah, I've got loads of space in here now. This is great. Uh, this is much more like it. Uh, red. Yeah, and keep them coming. And now we're actually approaching the level of, uh, of waiting facility that I had before I started bulldozing in the first place. So, uh, so that's also beneficial. I'm very optimistic that this TV screen is, is going to work. Um, you never know, it might. Uh, and then we'll put that on the end there. Have I got any more chairs? I haven't. Fine. All right. Well, I'll have to buy some then. Like that. And one more set. What do you mean? Don't, don't make the funny noise. There we are. Right, look, loads of space. I'll tell you what, because this is radiology, let's make this uh, a very pale blue. I'm saying that as though pale blue has in any way at all a relationship with radiology. Um, if you can come up with a reason why it might, uh, it might have a relationship with radiology, I am all ears. Uh, right, okay, well that wasn't completely ca catastrophic. Uh, we do need to unpause for a sec, uh, just so that you can get off your chair. Employee has no... Tyrone has figured out he's got nowhere to work. Oh, good lad. I'll, I'll build you somewhere in a moment, mate. Um, possibly down here for the time being. Uh, if Oh, hold on. If I can get another... All right, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll work you out just right now. If we slap that into here somewhere where it fits, I don't think it's going to fit. Uh, no, you're, that's being blocked. This one's even smaller. Oh, hold on, or is it? No, no. Apparently, yes. There we go. Right now, then, can I assign? Uh, switch back to that one. This one. No, that one. Hold on. No, 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 no. No, what, what, what? No, see, look, Tyrone was, was looking for a gig, and, uh, I guess what you're telling me here is that, oh, flipping Nora. Where, where is he? I mean, maybe he, is he a specialist for a different department? This feels unlikely. Um, no, I only, I only clean surgical areas, and um, as you know, uh, I will not lower myself to working in a non-surgical area. That's that doesn't uh, doesn't become me in the slightest. Do you want to get out of your chair? What's the better enough hide? Oh, hold on. No, I can I can see a small problem here. That's got a door. Uh, right. Okay. Good. Yeah. Fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Uh, there you go. We'll have a we'll have a door there. And I'll tell you what. We'll have a big glass window. So that all of the uh, all of the other passengers can kind of go. Oh, look at the science that's taking place! And I go. You betcha. Uh, we're all about all of the science here at uh, at science. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make this whole wall glass. Uh, this is uh, our transparent uh, operation of uh, of medical facilities. Right. Get out of that chair. There you go. He's gone. Look. Uh, right. We can now get back in. Move this to where it's actually supposed to be. There you are. That's better. And then they can sit next to each other and have conversations about Game of Thrones um, and or anything else. Now that looks like this TV screen is, is glowing red here, but I'm going to suggest that that actually isn't the case and it's just because we're on, uh, on nighttime lighting. Could be. Um, also, I suspect that this chair is the wrong kind of chair and what I do want is this kind of chair. I know, I things like chairs, they, they concern me greatly. Um, make it black, put it in the corridor. Yeah, you don't match the others in the slightest, but I've, I've been to many a hospital where the furniture just seems to have been whatever they pulled out of the skip. Um, right, now then, where are we? I've got another bucket here, let's park that in there for the moment 
obviously one of the cleaners is going to come back and go, Where, where's my bucket gone? This place is bizarre. It's like the Twilight Zone. All of the facilities just keep... Oh, I had a spare one of them. Didn't need to buy it. Oh, well. It's, it's not like I won't find a use for it at some point. There you go. You sit in there. Now then, if we get rid of these uh, these doors... That's it. And then we'll, uh, we'll kill this bit of wall here. Right. Now then, we'll go back to the zoning... Uh, zoning, which is a uh, cleaning closet. That's it. Then we'll uh, we'll turn this into a mega closet, uh, and then we'll stick an extra bucket in there, and we'll see if we can give it to Tyrone, because frankly, he did a better job cleaning than anyone else we've ever employed. So uh, I am reluctant to uh, to take him off duty. Uh, right now, then let's see if I can uh, see, see if we can assign him. No, nope. the Anderson family are currently running this particular cleaning uh, cleaning gig. Uh, maybe I've maybe I've got another another trolley somewhere. Hold on, how many how many trolleys have we got? We got one there. There's one. That's two. Uh, that's three. I think that's it. Okay, and then if we look at the uh, the staff rotor that we've got going on, um, uh, let's go back to general. We've got no one in there at the moment. Where's Tyrone? I'm going to have to go poking about in menus to try and find him. Uh, no. Also, no. Uh, not so much. Budget. Is there a staffing button? Uh, his his staffing. I've got six cleaners apparently. Now that's three buckets, twice used. There's one, there's two, and uh, there's three. Here's a cleaner. Who's this? This is Tyrone, and you're cleaning now. But where do you work, Tyrone? Which is your which is your offer? Are you just a freelance clean? You're like uh, a vigilante cleaner. Uh, what's this? Favourites? No. Assign employee to a workspace. That one. There you go. I don't care about Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Um, he can he can figure it out for himself. Um, but uh, you don't put your chief cleaner on uh, on non-cleaning duties. Oh, who, who have you come for? Are we allowing that, or are you just absconding with a patient in the middle of the night? I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that, but there is a price tag attached, just so you're aware. Okay, look, I am I am way happier now with the layout of this hospital than I was when I than, than before I started mucking about with it. Um, I'm not certain I've got enough general clinics set up for uh, for emergency services. I might need a couple more. In which case, the uh, the quick solution would be to reassign these two that I've got for general surgery and put those in uh, further down the corridor here. Possibly. Uh, anyway, in the next episode, um, I'm going to something. Hold on, there's another cart here, look. Whose is that one? Very hard to tell. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. There's four carts, one of which is parked in the staff lounge. Let's get it out of there. Nope, apparently it's in use. Okay, well, which are? Ah, which of the four are not in use? That one is not currently in use. Right, well, we'll park that up in here as well. There we go. And then we'll see. Maybe I can assign Mr. Anderson to this room now. Mr. Anderson. Um, nope, apparently not. Right, nights, days. Dana, nights, exponential. And Franklin. No, Frank's already assigned somewhere. Okay, okay, right. Ah, right. Now, are we making progress? Don't count on it. Uh, this one here. Knights. Brook. Days. Brook. Knights. No one. Until now. No. I need one more member of cleaning staff. Well, we'll, we'll make do without. 
Uh, it feels like we've got everyone we need. Could be wrong, but it feels like we're right. Uh, right, yes, what was I talking about? Next episode. Uh, we will continue our odyssey around the hospital and, uh, and expand out the next bit. Not sure what that's going to be, but what I'm thinking is that I'll take both of the on-call uh, units here uh, and uh, and stick them in there. Uh, that's the on-call doctors. And uh, and then I was going to turn the whole of this into one large uh, nurses on-call uh, setup. And then we can split this into two parts. This bathroom is far too big. It might be luxurious, but it's far too big. And well, we've got another cleaning room up there. As you can tell, I've got a bit of a bit of tweakage uh, still to enact. Uh, anyway, subscribe to this series to make sure you don't miss out on it, and fling a like at this one if you enjoyed it. Um, I'll be back very soon with a little more of the same. I've been Colonel Failure. Hasta la vista. Cheerio. Right, good, right, yes, good, right. So, mm, I've got the hospital now back up into a, a sort of stable situation where it will actually run uh, reasonably well, and, uh, hopefully. Um, and I say hopefully because uh, I'm almost out of cash and, uh, and there are no obvious signposts that say like, here, get some more cash quickly uh, just by doing this. So I'm going to have to earn cash the old-fashioned way, and that's by running a profitable enterprise. Uh, the first people against the wall are likely to be the cleaners, and I'm sure Tyrone is going to fight me with his squeegee uh, should he be the uh, the one uh, to receive a P45. Um, anyway, if you want to uh, keep up with the series, I've got a little way further to go with this. Uh, sling a comment to say, yes, keep going, or better yet, just hit the subscribe button.